As part of the 11-day bilateral exercise known as Freedom Shield 23, South Korean and U.S. forces conducted outdoor maneuvers like air assault operations on Thursday, March 16. Just hours before the president of South Korea was scheduled to fly to Tokyo for a summit where it was anticipated that strategies to deal with the nuclear-armed North would be discussed, North Korea fired a long-range ballistic missile into the sea between the Korean Peninsula and Japan as the joint drills that began on Monday, March 13, were heading toward war. The partners said the drills are vital to deter North Korea, which has launched a record number of missiles over the past year, increasing concerns of a major nuclear explosion for the first time since 2017. The Allies have not been held on this magnitude since 2017. The majority of our training today has been focused on getting ready for tonight's battle. In order to ensure that our power and capacity are sufficient to safeguard the Korean Peninsula, we have a very significant operational role here to deepen the alliance between the governments of the United States and South Korea, said U.S. Lieutenant Colonel Carmen Bucci.